Well, friends, today we're taking you on a tour of this beautiful Laverkin property. But first, we'd like to thank the listing agent, uh, Jeffrey Staples, and the developer for allowing us to tour this beautiful home. Let me give you some stats about this property. It is a four bedroom, three bathroom, 2,513 square foot home. It is located in Laverkin, Utah. And this part of Laverkin is actually closer to Tokerville. In fact, if you take I-15, it is easier to get here by taking the Tokerville exit because you're traveling at 80 miles per hour and it takes you like literally real close to the subdivision. Mm -hmm. It is a really nice subdivision and we sold the property next door to this home as well. And our client absolutely loves it. It is a really nice um, quiet subdivision that has quite a few homes that were all built around the same last three or four years or so. Um, and this property was just finished in 2021. It's a brand new home. It sits on a 0.34 acre lot and it has a three car garage. Let's, uh, let's take a look inside. So on the exterior finish, you see a combination of some stucco and rock. It has some really nice modern looking light fixtures and uh, kind of an ashy oak finish on the front door. The front door has some nice windows that allow some more light. And the front foyer uh, has, it looks like 14 foot ceilings. And there is a little window above the front door that allows some more uh, extra light. So as we go straight from the front entry, this opens into a wide open space in the living room. Uh, living room has a beautiful fireplace. It's a gas powered fireplace with a mantle and all of the outlets should have a shroud for, um, for your TV equipment. So there should be a shroud that routes everything. Hopefully in one of these, Let's take a look. Usually when a developer installs uh, an outlet like that, yeah. there is a spot where it's terminated yeah. so that you could run all of your wires. It could be somewhere next to these light switches. I don't see it, it's not very evident. Um, there's some really nice built-in light fixtures finished in gold. And overall, uh, we really like the lighting package that was selected for this home because it has a custom feel. It's not so cookie cutter. The flooring ties in nicely with uh, a wood accent that plays well with uh, the selections for the cabinets in the center island. There's some sort of manufactured stone that has some nice veins through it um, that the, the center island is finished in. And it also has some really cool light fixtures above it and this light fixture for the dining area. What's really cool about this kitchen, and it has gas appliances. Uh, it looks like a, a matching Whirlpool set with a gas uh, four burner cooktop, Whirlpool refrigerator, and take a look at this. There is a hidden butler pantry, which is actually quite large in size. That allows for you to take some of your appliances out of side, maybe. Let me see if there's an outlet. Do you see an outlet? There's a little island right here that, you know, the, the the kitchen um, um, counter space continues into this pantry and you can put some appliances here. There's plenty of room for food. And check this out. On the other side of the fireplace, there is a second pantry. And this could be used as a pantry or a utility closet. If you have a lot of food that you'd like to store, it's just as large as the butler pantry that we just experienced. Um, I'll get out of the way so you can take a closer look at that. So since we um, already started on this side of the house, as you turn left from the main entry, that's your second pantry. And across from the pantry is the door to take us out in the garage. We'll check that out in just a few moments. Take a look at this laundry room. Uh, this laundry room has a sink and all of the cabinets are soft clothes. The same thing as the kitchen cabinets. Uh, there's space for a washer and a dryer and the dryer can be either gas or electric. So you have some options there. 
And there is a full bathroom across the hallway from, um, from the laundry room. That could be a perfect guest bath. All the countertops, the, the theme of the countertops is kind of consistent throughout the house. It's a light uh, tone of white with some veins in it. And all of the hardware looks really nice with nice modern black. Uh, light fixtures in here look pretty nice as well. So as we continue down this hallway, it opens to a smaller bedroom. And when I say smaller, this room is probably what, like maybe 12, 12 by 12, would you say? Yeah, I would say. So it's at least 12 by 12. It has four cans and a nice black light fixture and a good size closet. So there's that. There is a thermostat just outside this door that controls this zone. And I'm not sure how many uh, zones are there in this house. We'll find out. Uh, there's a hallway closet, a good size linen closet right outside of the master bedroom. And as we enter the master bed, it is pretty good size. Uh, I would say you could comfortably fit a California King. And there is a nice tray ceiling with four can lights and a ceiling fan. And this opens up to a very private backyard. So it's a 0.37 acre lot. The lot line goes a little bit outside of what you see here. But the fact is that the neighboring properties are way up on the hill and you don't really get a good view in your backyard. So your backyard feels really nice and private. This master does open to the backyard. And this door has some nice built-in blinds. Um, and this opens to a nice big patio. And I believe uh, with this home, the front landscaping is included, but the rear uh, might have to be uh, put in by the buyer. Let's check out the master bathroom. In here, uh, there is a dual vanity with similar cabinets that we saw throughout the rest of the house. There's some nice extra storage on the side. And behind me is a master closet, which is quite spacious and it has a, a good amount of built-ins. I'll get out of your way and let you show that. And to the right of the master closet, we have a dedicated water closet, which is pretty spacious as well. And then on this side of the master bath, we have a nice soaking tub with two windows, which do not appear to be frosted. I'm hoping they're tinted. Uh, and we have a really good sized shower, which is tiled all the way to ceiling and has a Delta hardware with a really nice shower head. Let's go check out the rest of this house. So this could be the thermostat that controls the master. So we're going back into the living room and back towards the front door. To the right of the front door as you enter, uh, we have a coat closet that also has a panel that terminates um, all of the uh, Cat5 connections throughout the house. So this is your network hub. And straight across, we have a bedroom that could be used as an office. It has two windows and a walk-in closet. Similar light setup with four cans and a fan in the middle. There's a small hallway that takes you to this hallway bath with a nice walk-in shower with uh, a glass door that pretty much goes all the way to ceiling. Really nice high tile as well. And a similar vanity with a nice large mirror. So as we continue down this hallway, we have another bedroom. And this bedroom could actually also be used as an office. This bedroom has the views to the front of the property. So it's just one of the four bedrooms or it could become an office. Um, does have a good sized closet as well. 
I believe the only interior space that we have not yet discovered is the three car garage. So let's go check that out. That light fixture really fills the space nicely. I feel like it just balances that open space perfectly. Yeah, it's huge. I love it. Let, let's Did we see any other thermostats in this house? I think there's only one zone, right? Was there a thermostat on this side? Yeah, it must be just a single zone. Sometimes you see multiple thermostats. Let's look at the kitchen that we didn't go, for, go over very deeply. Oh yeah, let's take a closer look at the kitchen. Sorry, I kind of skipped over this area. So there's nice uh, stainless steel Whirlpool appliances, uh, Whirlpool um, gas cooked up with four burners. These cabinets look really nice and they kind of match the rest of the colors, uh, the color plate in this house really well. What do you think? I love them. Yeah, they look really good. Farmhouse light fixtures above the uh, center cabinet. There is a Whirlpool stainless steel dishwasher and a really nice uh, deep sink. Michonne's favorite touch is the pull out trash can. Mm -hmm. This is actually a dual trash can. Uh, the, the biggest pet peeve that I have with this setup is the trash can is usually not very large or some people like to have their recycling right next to trash. Here you have that option. That is a beautiful touch. beautiful kitchen. What would you rate this kitchen? Oh, what would I rate it? Yeah. Hmm. Looks like a, like a solid 10 to me. You think so? Especially with the second pantry. Yeah. Like the pantry is huge. Nice. So I know that uh, all, the, all the guys watching this video are dying to see this part. So this is a three car garage. The two car side appears to be maybe 20, 23, 24 feet deep. And this side is the single bay. It has a slight bump out for the water heater. And there's a bypass for the water softener right next to the water pressure valve. Really good sized garage with two windows on both sides. And there is a man door that takes you outside um, and the, the, the double bay looks to be extra wide and the single bay looks to be a little wider than a normal single bay that you would normally expect because if you look to either side of the gate on both the single bay and the dual bay, uh, there's some extra room. So you have some room for shelving and storage and things of that nature. Let's go take a peek uh, out in the backyard. There are two ways to get to the backyard. One of the doors gets you there from uh, the dining room, the kitchen, and the other one takes you right into the master. So there's a significant change in elevation from the backyard as it just goes all the way uphill. And there's an area that's been, you know, excavated out for like a little landscaped area that you could use for barbecue. There's probably enough room to put in a pool actually. Let's take a look on the side of the house for a parking situation. So this side of the house has the HVAC unit. And uh, let's take a look what kind of HVAC unit it is. Looks like a five ton Goodman unit with a dedicated shot off uh, breaker for just the AC unit here. And that's the man door that we saw from the other side. And let's take a look. This backyard is not super large as, uh, as the excavated part of it, but uh, you could do quite a bit with it. It looks very nice and private. Um, there are block walls on either side of the property to the left and to the right. And this side is fully fenced, so it could be like a dog run or you could use it for whatever you please, but that's fully fenced from the front. And you could put in a metal gate on the other side to fully enclose this backyard. Mm. 
Do we cover everything? I think we covered everything. I think it about does it. Well, guys, if you have any questions about the property, let us know. If you have any comments, let us know what you think about this home. Drop us a comment in the description below this video. And we will see you in the next one.